So if you're watching this video, then you're considering having a dream career working with YouTube. Now I think it's really important when thinking about this topic to think about some of the great things that can happen with it, but also look at some of the challenges. So we're gonna look at that in depth in this video. Be sure to check this out. Who loves games? Yes, man. So everyone wants to work with YouTube, right? It is fantastic. There is absolutely nothing better than taking one of your favorite things in life, whether it's video games, whether it's shopping, whether it's hair and beauty, whatever your preferred topic might be, wouldn't it just be living the dream to be able to make videos in your own time, upload those to your YouTube channel, and be able to make money, money, money from it? I think it's really important to look at this from all different angles, and such goes with anything in life. If you're wanting to make a really big decision, like what to do with your future, the only advice I always give, and which I also tell myself, is to consider all your different options to be able to make that a success. When you see a lot of YouTube videos, you see the great times. You see people out on set, you see them out and about in the world. You see all the fun things that happen when a YouTube video gets made. What you necessarily don't see is potentially the darker side. Now that might be working really, really hard on something and the views don't come to your video, or actually just working really hard at something and you're sat at home alone trying to figure it out. It's quite a lonely thing. So I think guys, you're probably aware, trying to make it and make it happen well on YouTube is not an easy thing to do. So take a look at my channel for instance. I've been doing this for over a year now. It's important to get your branding right, to work out what your audience is, work out what kind of content you're gonna shoot and how to deliver it in the best possible way to give your channel the best chance to succeed. Now I've worked really hard at the whole marketing side of getting my channel set up how I want it to be with different types of videos and to try to get the content out there in the right way so that you actually start to drive in and create an audience to actually have a YouTube channel where somebody's actually wanting to watch your content. Now I've been doing this for over a year and if you have a flick through my channel, you can see I think I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. But it is important to understand people can look at a channel just like mine, it's still a small YouTube channel, but looking at it from the surface, it's got over a thousand subscribers, it gets a fair amount of views per video for a channel that's in its first few years, and people think, wow, I want a channel like that. What a lot of people don't realize is actually really getting to know your stuff. How do you get monetized on YouTube as the platform goes? How do you earn money to actually make something of that if you wanted to do it full time? Because if you can't manage to do that, guys, it's just a hobby. So like I say, I've been doing this for over a year. I still can't get my channel monetized, guys. It is really hard work. So I think the first thing to do before you think about starting this and taking it seriously is actually understanding it. Understanding how much work it's gonna to take to put in to try to make something of it in the future. So what are the requirements to monetize? How do you go about doing this? Well, essentially it depends on the type of channel that you're creating. A lot of people like myself start up with gaming channels because the requirements are less. But until you've managed to build your channel up with quality content and get your first 1,000 subscribers, you can't even go live from your mobile phone. You might think that's not a big deal. There's a lot of other ways. There's a lot of ways you can use technology to go live. But people in the world of YouTube know that going live is how you build up your channel watch time. And it is all about that, guys. You need, for a gaming channel, 4,000 hours watched in a rolling 365 day period. So within one year, you need 4,000 hours of footage watched. So to put that into perspective, that's 240,000 minutes of video watched 
if you break that down, if you do the math and you divide that down to what you actually need to do per day to build that up within a 365 day period to get that watch time to hit the monetization goals. Well, if you break it down, guys, you need 12 hours watched every single day. You could average that out so you might have nothing watched one day and have 48 hours watched the next day. But you do that math and you will see that is what you need to get to 4,000 hours, guys. Now, I've been working really hard on my channel as a hobby and I found it so, so hard to manage to get 12 hours per day on average is putting in a lot of time. It's not impossible, but it can be done. So you reach this monetization point. What does that do for a YouTube channel? First of all, it's gonna unlock your adverts. You can have adverts placed on your videos. And when you get up to a point and you're gonna get thousands of hits on that video, you can start making some ad revenue. If you're a channel that goes live a lot and people will wanna purchase a membership for your channel, they can use those emojis. You can start earning some money from those monthly memberships. But if you're a small channel, guys, it is really hard to make money from this from monetization alone. So it's important to understand what the potential is, what it takes to reach it, and what does that mean for you? It's important to understand that income side because if you don't understand the income, how are you gonna make a career out of it? So there's other ways apart from YouTube monetization to make money, and I think that's what a lot of other people do. So apart from monetization itself, I could use this platform now to help launch sales. So if you're someone that makes designer gear, you've got your own brand, if you make clothing, if you make anything that is any kind of product, package or service that you can sell, if you build up your YouTube channel, you can use this to advertise that content and generate some sales for income that way. So that's something that you shouldn't rule out either. So if you can make money and actually make a career of it on YouTube, that is fan. Fantastic. But I think as some of those stats show, it just proves it's really hard to make it. It's really hard to make it. Never let anything like that put you off, but just understand the requirements. Understand what you need to make that happen before you go and make any decisions about what you wanted to commit to full time. So let's be honest, there's a lot of channels out there that make great content and sometimes you just need that one awesome video that goes viral and you get masses of hits, loads of subscribers for your channel, and then you could reach your goals so much sooner. Now I've managed to have a couple of videos that have gone big and hit several thousand views, but it's, it takes a lot of work to work out the kind of video that does that. And for me doing it as a hobby, I tend to just make the videos that I enjoy, sharing the gameplays I wanna share, rather than focusing on reaching out and doing that kind of clickbait, let's grab the audience video to build up the channel. Maybe I need to start taking my own advice. So YouTube is really fun as a hobby and I just can't imagine if you're doing it full time, where you're doing this kind of thing, do what you want, do it when you want for fun. If you're having to do it full time and you're relying on that for an income, there is a lot of pressure, there's a lot of pressure to succeed and to make the right type of content to do that. Suddenly this YouTube fun hobby starts to feel a lot like hard work. Just bear that in mind guys. I think if you're gonna make a YouTube channel happen, get on it early. Start today, start working out what you want your channel to be, start working on your branding, start experimenting with making content because it takes a long time to work out your style, how to put it together, how all the technology works. Start building that today and then think about what you could do for a career in the future. So I think the one, if I, if I could give one piece of advice, the biggest piece of advice I would give is to work on what you're good at in life as a career to make a stable income from guys because something like YouTube is not stable. So I would say work hard, study hard, get a great job that works for you and you can start making money to actually live and start building a secure future for yourselves. Enjoy this YouTube as a hobby and see where it goes. Work hard at it, try and get the channel as best as it can be and then work out whilst you've got a stable life and you're earning money, can I make something full time 
out of YouTube. Never hedge your bets on something that isn't guaranteed. And I tell you now guys, YouTube is not guaranteed and it is not easy. Guys, stack your deck. Make sure that your cards are stacked and you've got your hand sorted out so that you know that you can succeed in life. And then if something like this, a fun hobby, manages to take off in the future, fantastic. The amount of people you see that manage to do YouTube full time, yeah, it exists. Some people get lucky, some people work hard and manage to do it. But don't forget, there's a lot of existing channels out there, guys, that started in this business seven years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and it was a lot easier to build up a successful channel back then. If you're already successful across social media, if you can bring in viewers from other platforms, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, and have an instant YouTube audience, some of, that, some of those followers will move over and, and support you on another platform also. So that can help deliver success as well. But just, just, just don't make any rash decisions, guys. If you're thinking about anything in life for a full-time career, just, just make sure that it is gonna work. Don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket thinking I can make it on YouTube or I can make it full-time working with video games or as a, a pro video game player. I mean, if you, don't, if you don't ever try, you'll never have a chance to succeed. So do try, but just make sure, guys, that for your life, you've got a stable plan because the only person that you can count on is you.